I'm Moon Tribe. I'm Haley, and welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. These are going to be general messages for the star sign of Pisces from June 25th to the 30th of June 2020. So take what resonates and leave behind what does not. If you would like to book a personal reading with me where your messages will 100% correlate to your story because they are specifically for you in mind, you can find all the information how to reach me in the description box down below. Without any further ado, I have already gone and pulled your cards off camera for you, so let's get right into it, Pisces. You got the sun, the star, and the four of pentacles. So I just want to say right off the bat that the, um, the fucking sun coming up for you alongside the star in a reading is some of the most potent, powerful shit I've seen in a really, really long time. And that this is typically more so of a negative card, but because of the presence of the sun in any reading, when the sun comes up, we're always kind of taught, hey, the sun always kind of washes away the clouds when anything minor happens. And I do definitely see this as being minor, and I should probably just tell you what this all means first before I spoil it. But the sun is the best card in the deck. It represents that there is some large amount of healing that has um, come to pass recently, or that you are waking in this now, but the star is a major kind of card for uh, incredible intense emotional healing, and the sun is probably here to explain why something has happened that has made you incredibly happy, and I'm going to do a little bit of digging just so I can connect with people more, because this is general, it, 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 um, it could be anything that made you happy, it could have been a new job, it could have been a relationship, or uh, it's going to be split for people, but what is the sun here for? Why is the sun the star here for? Yeah, it was some large fine, not, it, it could have been some either, there goes all the cards. Hold on, I'm still here. Oh. It's a little bit windy today, I should have, uh, I should have probably prepared for that. Um, but... Okay, so the Three of Swords got picked up, but the Ten of the ten of Pentacles is also here. The Ten of Pentacles representing, it's not a coincidence that this fell out. It literally blew off the top of the deck and onto the ground. Um, but I'll get into that in a second. The Ten of Pentacles represents that there's some huge, huge fam uh, either family situation of stability or it would have been something financial where uh, there would have been a fuckload of money or financial gain. Or, or, which is financial gain, or there would have been some large emotional growth when it comes to a family situation, when it comes to, it could even be a romance, because they are, like, when I say family, it could be, like, a husband-wife situation with your kids, um, but it, it could be more than one way, but it does represent family, it's about having it all, this is like a lottery card, and I feel like... This is in the past, this is definitely in the past, and this is kind of why the precursor was here as to why this healing needed to happen, because something very large, this isn't going to, it's probably not going to be so recent, but there was a large amount of betrayal that came out with this, and I'm not sure if this is a new situation, if you're just healing from the situation, or if you have somebody else stepping in for you, like your family, whatever way it is to be, that is a huge B. That is a huge ass B. There is whatever way you want to read this. Um, there was some sort of indication for pain in the past that has led you to this healing. But this wouldn't matter right now. You wouldn't be feeling this so much. It's, I feel like you are um, finally releasing yourself from whatever this is. Finally taking the steps that you, you, first of all, you have found it. You have found your healing definitely during this time period. And there's a lot of emotion to be had with either somebody in your family, um, the people that you're related to, your friends. It could be somebody romantically involved. Take it how it resonates. But the reason why this makes more sense to me now is the Four of Pentacles represents even though at the end of the day you are going through this healing, I do kind of still see you being a little bit blocked off to emotion and I see you taking this, um, oh that just scared the shit out of me, I thought I was seeing things. The Four of Pentacles represents to me that there's still some blockages to be had, probably because of this and even though I feel like it is for the most part done and over with, this healing is something I feel like is more new and more recent. And I still kind of see you being a little bit... I don't want to say standoffish, but I see being like, all right, like, yeah, these really, really good things happen, but I'm still being protective on my energy. I'm kind of remaining a little bit tight. I'm not really letting things in or out right now, even though things in general are meant to ebb and flow. Um, but this is a situation where I, the Four of Pentacles, I mean, all cards are temporary, but this is a temporary situation. And uh, because money did come out really large, I'm going to also uh, maybe insinuate <laughs> that this could also be um, coming into some money after a period of 
a loss when it comes to money, but for the most of this, I really want to say that this is an emotional spread. But it's saying that whatever is happening here, you have an insane amount of healing coming to you. I just be careful on how blocked off you are to this, because I definitely feel like all of this insane happiness that you have coming to you, don't let it be dampened by this. Don't let your new happiness be dampened by this past experience because I definitely do feel like this is in the past. And if it's if you are repeating this with a, the same person who did this, be insanely careful, but I do not see anything bad aside from this, um, just indicating that you are remaining a little bit blocked off, but it is still coming in. Just be careful if you are blocking off the right or wrong things, and I will see you on the flip side. Peace out, my moon tribe.